Well, hello everybody, and welcome to the show that we say on our side, the golden show that never ends here. And welcome to this short video clip here. In the moment, we'll have a clip of Jim Davis and the night that we will never forget. Because the one that we watched him, well, I personally watched him for the second time, and we got there slightly later than anticipated. But we got there and enjoyed the whole show. What we got to see anyway, because we were, you know, late comers and we got to look back and we saw a fantastic view. But we'll show you a clip of that in just a moment, what we did capture. Okay, that to come. But yeah, don't get offended by it, and it is 18 plus. So before we proceed with the video, which is coming up in just a moment, I just wanted to say a huge thank you to Dan Wooten who replied very, very quickly. Not many other people in the professional business would actually reply to me like Dan Wooten has done, saying that Jim Davison is a legend, true legend. And from my eyes that I saw and ears to hear his comedy, I would never forget a man like this. And we need more of this sort of type of comedy. But I did go up to him and say, after the show I did, and of course, uh, I said that uh, I tried comedy once and it didn't let me in the lefties area. And he goes, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. And he, uh, he responded, Jim Davidson did. And uh, of course, yeah, I know, I know, they won't, they won't. And then he walked off to the prom to, to buy himself a pint or just have a pint before he went off to Hunt Stanton, which was the next destination he went to. I hope to see him again. If not this year, it'll be the next year. But yeah, you can say to my girlfriend, Nicole, because uh, she took the photograph. Eventually she did. She said, uh, can't you take a photograph? No, the actual words were, why can't you take a photograph? What's he meaning to be sort of... <laughs> Some people might have thought it was uh, rude, but actually it might have been just sarcastic or it might have been just in a rush or, or maybe he was joking. Um, I don't know which one it was because I don't know the guy very well, so I can't really say either way. But uh, it sounded quite funny, actually, <laughs> that uh, he said that. Uh, why can't you take a photograph? Is that Jim Davidson style? I don't know the guy very well, so I don't know what he meant by that. What's he saying? Hurry up, get on with it. You know, that kind of stuff. Do you let me know, Dan, about that? Because you might know him better than I do. But, yeah, do you know Jim Davidson's style? And, uh, you know, in real life, I'm talking about because I don't really know him that well. But, you know, I can't comment on him. You know, uh, you know, he's a great guy to me. And, uh, you know, he didn't really take Mickey out of me like I thought he might have done because I'm quite a big built person. But, you know, um, all he said, uh, good. Uh, no, of course I enjoyed the show. Uh, I enjoyed you. He, you're brilliant. He said good, and uh, he said about Dan Wooden as well. He said um, he's good. He's good. <laughs> and uh, I did mention he's a Charlton FC fan as well. And uh, Dan Wooden, can you explain to me? Are you a West Ham fan? You know, because I'm so leaning towards that way that you are a West Ham fan. I don't know if you are or not, but of course, I'd like to know on that one. But anyway, we're going to have a clip, a short clip of The Fantastic Night. Do watch it. And remember, we saw this as Buster Brooker, known as Errol Lee in real life, said on 5FM, the legendary Buster Brooker um, is no longer a DJ, I don't know where he is now. Apparently done time in prison. Um, so just due to uh, drugs and uh, due to the, the uh, camera falling over uh, but uh, I'm going to hold it still for a second but no um, as Russell Brooker did say back in the Bible the day he was a legend on that sort of station he would have been fantastic he was non-woke at the time you know but his life changed dramatically sadly it went a different direction but anyway as he once said stay with him on your own don't you dare touch the dial. I will say TTFN for now. Watch this clip. It will have you laughing.
so we call it. It's now pissing down the ground outside. Uh, no, it's not, but it will be in a minute. Okay, we're going to have an ink ball, as I said, as long as you want. I'll be around the front signing some books. I'll see you then. Let's go. Right. Ha, 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 ha. 